Will the defendant please stand? Kempton Bunton, you are charged that on the 21st of March 1961, you stole from the National Gallery the portrait of the Duke of Wellington by the artist Francisco Goya to the value of £140,000. How do you plead, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. And that you created a public nuisance by depriving members of the public of the opportunity to view the portrait. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Same again, love, not guilty. Mr. Cusk. Thank you, my lord. given that Shakespeare a run for his money. Imagine if Jesus had been born a woman. Well, what's it called? The Adventures of Susan Christ. Not my cup of tea, then. Oh, well, you never know. <laughs> Recorded delivery? Aye, good idea. I'll be two shillings, Mr Bunton. Come on, Mr Singh. I know you're in there. I know he's in. Is Barry Spence there, pet? Just putting you through. Thank you. Dorothy, I'm in here. Dorothy, would you be a sweetie and just clean the heads for me? Oh yes, yes, of course. Oh, well, I'll finish the fireplace first. It's entirely up to you, but I'm, I'm playing this afternoon. Busy, busy. Oh, Dorothy, yes, I was passing Phoenix the other day. I noticed that they had um, a sign-up, Storman, just in case your husband. Uh, I, I just mention it. Office in the street. I know. Buy me five minutes. Mr. Bunton. Come with the hour, Jackie lad. Mr. Bunton? Can I help? We're here to inspect your television license. Look at that. What? Fox. Big fella. Any house with a television is required to have a license. Our radar van detected a line output transformer signal from this address coming from a cathode ray tube this time last week. Oh, I haven't got one of them. That's a telly. Oh, oh I've got one of them. And do you have a license? In what sense? In the sense of having one or not having one. A mile a day helps you work, rest, and play. Gentlemen, join me, Robin Hood, after the advert. So we'll see your license, sir. Don't need one. We only watch ITV, which is paid for by these. This is a mistake. I can go to the post office no in the morning. It is a political act. Witness, I cannot receive the BBC. To the left, ITV. I've taken the band one coil from the turret tuner. Here we go again. My wife always supports me in private. It is thus physically impossible for this set to receive a televisual signal from the British Broadcasting Corporation. That negates the imperative on me to pay the licence I've fee. only got 16, Bob, here. Jackie, fetch the kitty Don't from the lawn. It's an unfair tax on ordinary people, especially the oldies that can't afford it. Television, gentlemen, 
is the modern cure for loneliness. We're a movement. I'm not. Our aim is to persuade our government that old people should have free televisual viewing. Well, the law's the law, and no one's above it. Especially a nobody like you. Oi! You can't talk to me, Dad, like that in his own house. Or what? All right, Captain. Don't know, Barry. Never think about it. You back again, stirring it. Who are you? Evening Chronicle. Well, by Free statute. TV for the OAP. <laughs> I like it. I was pleased. Not a lot rhymes with TV. I don't want this in the papers. He does. That's why I'm here. Well, by statute, anyone owning a television needs a license. Ha! But I have modified this set by removing the BBC coil, so I owe the government nothing. That is an unarguable proposition and certainly sound in law. All right. Thank you. Sorry, Dad. Where to? Home. Marion. Sorry, love. Porridge. Thirteen days. Broke the law. Upset your mother. Again. Why doesn't Mum ever come? Don't know, Jackie. You'll have to ask about yourself. When England faced its Waterloo, one man stood firm. This man, Arthur Wellesley, the Duke of Wellington. And when last week this historic portrait was in danger of leaving the country forever, we also stood firm, raising the £140,000 required to secure it for us all. Was it really worth it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, looking at it, it's not very big, is it? <laughs> Sir Philip. Well, um, it's an outstanding example of late period Goya. It really is. Outstanding. 